being aware of that, are they? Are you having to change that ostomy bag three times in an hour? That's a lot. Mm -hmm. um, oral fluids, it talks about IV fluids. That would be the TPN, and that's the intake, and then the output, the amount that's uh, coming out. Blood test, it talks about uh, that. That self monitoring. Um, it's not necessarily self monitoring. The home health nurse, that's you guys. They they draw at least once a week. And if you have problems, then I'm sure if you can get an order from the physician, they'll come back, or if you're concerned, the home health nurse comes back. Daily weights we talk about, and, we, and again, that, that's part of your daily monitoring. Daily temperature it talks about. We want to have that baseline. And if you want to get some vital signs, that's great as well, a blood pressure, a pulse. Um, and blood glucose levels. And folks that are um, diabetic, they're used to that. Mm -hmm. And folks that aren't diabetic, the physician usually doesn't order that. Now, PICC line. This book only talks about a PICC line as a central line. <laughs> I have <coughs> I have a picture. I have a picture I think Lilia did for somebody, or I got it off the internet. I think Lilia did this one here, and it talks about different kind of central lines. Let me get this for you. But then I show um, the patient this, this picture. A PICC line comes, it's peripherally inserted <coughs> catheter. And um, they may have a port under here, and I don't have a picture of a port, but I'll show them. It's the port under your skin. But it's, they all go to the same place. To make it a central line, they go to the superior vena cava right above the right atrium. And that's what makes them a central line. Some folks have Hickman catheters. They're all treated the same way. Just about. They all have to be flushed. They all have to be sterile, because look where it's going. Right there in your heart. Boy, we're going to pump any bacteria right through your body. I mean, it's going. Um, the thing about a PICC line and TPN, um, one of the things that I tell them is that it can't come out more than two inches. And the reason is, if it comes out more than two inches, it's probably up here. It may be in the uh, uh, in in the vena cava, and you can use that superior vena cava, or it may be in the um, it may be in the uh, subclavian vein. You can use that for. We know we've seen them come out. We've wrapped them. We've dressed them. You can use that for antibiotics. You can use that for fluid. But they don't recommend TPN because it's got a bigger molecular, the molecules are bigger, the fat solu soluble portion is bigger, and the chances of, there's, there is a chance of clotting. So if it, as it, uh, these lines go into, from a smaller vessel into a, the biggest one, and if it backs out, and chances are these aren't going to back out, obviously, and I do, I point these out, whichever one they have. And, and I don't really go into this bill unless they have a pick line. If it does back out more than two inches, then it may be out of that central line place. Yeah, you can get fluids. Yeah, you can get an antibiotics, but you really don't need to get TPN. So you need to stop if the dog gets a hold of it and pulls it out, or if it comes out during the dressing change with the nurse, and the nurse says, oh, it's okay. And it is okay for antibiotics, and it is okay for fluid, but it's not okay for TPN. So you need to tell your home health nurse, mm -mm, it's too far out. So I mean, and I just tell them to uh, be aware of that. You have to, you have to watch, watch, and then the washing the hands. Obviously, you. What want did your you say? Hands. Not more than two inches. Yeah, if you figure. <clears throat> and here's a thick line. Well, I'm just wondering if we need to have the nurses actually measure. Well, and, the, <clears throat> and I always thought that they did measure. Well, no, 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 no not don't. really. When you know, I'm when I'm in my, that office? CE I do, I talk about uh, measuring it, measuring that, and measuring the circumference of the arm. And it's got it on here. And if you want that documentation, that's great. Well, it depends on if you have the original and you know how long that is. Well, that would be on the and records. If, nah, it well, should be. be. It should be on the records. But it should be always. being the key word there. So and then are you going to have access to that as a home health nurse? Sometimes. Well, don't, they, don't we send the information that we get? Like if I'm, the, you know, how they have that like on the progress notes. 